You are now locked in to the latest and the greatest on the Android system. This is the channel that gives you information every day in every way possible. Make sure you go ahead and you hit the like button on your way in. Hit the bell icon as well and subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll see you right after these quick messages. Peace. <clears throat> hey, what's going on guys? Right now we're going to check out the Asphalt 9 on the Chewy i9 Pro. As you can see right here, I do have a really nice customized vehicle. And you can see it's in that banana yellow, which actually looks really, really sleek and really nice. Let's go ahead and get ready for the race. This is the Asphalt 9. So you can see right here, we're running it on just standard graphics, no um, customizations done whatsoever. And what I noticed right off the bat is that this game actually played really well. Every single time I played the Asphalt 9 on this device, I didn't experience any stutters whatsoever. The consistency of this game was actually really good and I was enjoying it. You can see um, I'm not really seeing any lags. Uh, there might have been one or two, but nothing substantial. And you can see that it's really a pleasing and enjoyable experience when it comes to playing the Asphalt 9 on the Chewy i9 Pro. <clears throat> Now let's take a look at this um, game right here called Free Fire. Now this is a, a, a game similar to PUBG, which um, doesn't require as many as much graphics, so it's less graphic intensive, and you can actually see it runs a little bit uh, smoother. And make sure you stay locked in because we're gonna play PUBG later on in the video. But you can see this thing is um, actually has really good graphics on that 2K panel that we're looking at right now. That 2K panel does look really substantial, just to say the least. Now, this thing has um, a DecaCore um, process a CPU chip, two of them. So there's a 2.1 gigahertz Cortex A72 with another four. Um, 1.85 gigahertz cortex a53 processors with another uh it's paired with another four 1.4 gigahertz cortex a53 processors it has a chipset that is mediatek helio x20 um the mt6797 um the gpu is armali t880 mp4 700 millihertz four core so this thing is going to be really powerful when we're talking about performance in a budget device. Now this thing is only $140 right now, like $139.99 on Amazon. And it's a steal, um, especially because I'm able to play these games streaming from my SIM card, either on Cricut Wireless or Metro by T-Mobile. So. I was definitely enjoying the fact that I had such a large display on the go and I could play games, check my social media and everything just looked really, really nice because it was a lot bigger. You're also getting like desktop mode when you're using it on the different platforms of um, like, you know, like uh, if you're like on a website, it definitely looks like you're on like a laptop. So it's cool. And you can see right here, everything is really smooth. You know, I'm getting a couple kills in and I don't really play this game that much. I'm just using it for testing. But you can see this is a really good game and a great alternative for PUBG if you want to use it. Uh, it's called Free Fire and it's definitely pretty cool. Free on the Play Store as well. So you can see the graphics look really cool, especially right here. The colors really pop. Um, the screen on the display is really vivid. Um, we're getting a metal body design IPS screen, um, which is pretty cool. Now the screen quality is really good. It has um, 
559 pixels per inch on that 8.4 inch device now this thing was actually released july 2018 of uh, the chewy high 9 pro 4g version you can see right here this game is going to be really nice because the colors are going to be really beautiful on this tablet slash uh, phone uh phablet basically and you can see those blues look really good the light blue hues are popping you can see the greens emerging on the screen and then wow look at that color shift the, the the bright reds also the pink colors and you're getting yellows and oranges mixed with greens and then blues and purples just emerging and then the grass stays green you can see how those greens pop and just the color shift in this game is really um, the thing that is very um, immersive and I definitely like how all the colors actually pop in that game. So it's really cool. And you're getting the PUBG right here, which is the most powerful game if you want to test for graphics. Uh, and this, this game sets the standard. And you can see right here, not bad. You can see the frame rate is decent. It's not too bad. It's nothing to bellyache over. Now we're going to be playing PUBG right now on low graphics. If we put it to medium, I think we're going to wear out the chip the gpu so we're not gonna do that to this budget tablet slash phablet we're gonna just let it um perform how it would uh you know recommend which is would be on the lower graphics setting so right now you can you know i'm just setting up um you know i'm the team leader right now setting up our landing destination spot and we're gonna go over here to the right because uh you know there's not gonna be a lot of people over there it's gonna be really um you know hoping hoping there's gonna be some weapons there right on deck like immediately so um you know you can see right here when you look around everything looks pretty smooth everything seems to be responsive when i'm moving my fingers across the screen so that's actually pretty good that i'm getting some you know responsiveness now i wouldn't um say this is the most heaviest performing tablet out there but um in the budget segment i would say that this thing can get you by you can definitely play PUBG on it and you can definitely um you know you're not going to be like you just got to get used to the screen that's the thing because the but when you have to reach at the top and bottom you're actually reaching a lot further um so you, that's something to get used to but um you know like right here you can see the animations are actually pretty quick so i was quite impressed um with that just to say the least um also aiming wasn't too bad either you know like it wasn't all over the place i could definitely you know like um I could control what I was doing most of the time. Now, like right here, there seemed to be some type of interference, but I managed to get out of it okay right here. And then everything was good from this point on. But like something was happening inside that building where I wasn't able to change direction, but everything was good from there on out. And then you can see right here, um, just moving around, looking for the next victim. And um, right now we're going to, you know, like get some meds and everything. Just make sure that we're going to power up and everything. So we're good to go. Uh, so far, I got one kill under my belt. I'm looking for at least two to three more. Um, right here, you can see we're in stealth mode. I'm actually targeting a victim. Uh, let me just run up on the side of him so he doesn't suspect me to come straight on and that actually worked right here so ran out of ammo we're gonna go ahead and reload and pick up some more weapons right here i think he has some good stuff here let's grab all of that yeah definitely don't have to change my gun now because he had the weapons i needed um the ammo and stuff like that so right here i like this gun this gun looks pretty cool um i played pubg really um for the most part all the time um you can see right here i wasn't expecting that assault from the you know from the, the um the victim right there but i did go ahead and catch the body 
So right now we got three. How many kills do we got? We got three kills so far. Let's go ahead and power up. Um, so like I just skipped further along in the game right here. You can see we're in the, the blue zone and I was just trying to run for cover right here. The victim was right there. And as soon as I targeted him, I noticed that I had to reload or, or else I definitely would have won that battle. But um, that's it for now. And um, so far, I could definitely say that the, um, you know, the Chewy High 9 Pro held its ground when it came to gaming as it proclaimed on the website. This was actually promoted as a gaming phablet so you can actually insert your sim card in europe or america uh in any gsm network but i hope you found this helpful peace it's your boy serrano and i'll see you on the next video peace